Alex Chavez here with NS Corporation. In this how-to video we will show the proper way to connect the Banner SMA30 series photo eyes in our control panel. For future product information please refer to the part numbers below. These photo eyes are also referred to as a post through beam type sensors which means the emitter emits a signal and the receiver receives a signal. These photo eyes as you can see are almost identical, same color wires on each end, except for the wiring schematic located at the bottom nearest the cable input. Now given the similarities of these sensors, it is critical that you identify which is the emitter, which is the receiver, and also identify which color wire pertains to load or neutral. In this case, the brown wire is always load meaning the hot side. Failure to correctly identify each sensor and its unique wiring before connecting it to a power source will damage the internal circuitry of the sensor and render it useless and void any and all warranties. Here's how to connect the uh, emitter and receiver photo eyes into our control panels. First off, here we have some blown up schematics this is our, our small control panel box, which is this small box with a set of terminals and a relay. This box is this schematic that you see right here. Here's your components inside the box. Here's how this wiring connects. You have to bring in from your transformer 24 volts to this panel, which is wired to number one, the load side of the panel the neutral side of the panel to number two. The output of this would be to your tunnel controller out of R1, relay one. Now here's how the photo eyes connect in here. The emitter itself has a brown and blue wire, but so does the receiver. So we have to correctly identify the emitter and take the brown wire to terminal one which is our load side of the transformer. The neutral side of the emitter, which is the blue wire, goes to terminal number two. The receiver photo eye, the brown wire goes to terminal number one. Again, that's the load because all the brown wires are always to load, the hot side. The other side of the uh, receiver photo eye is the blue wire. The blue wire is going to terminal number three. This is a very simple little panel. Now terminal number three is the opposite side of the coil on the relay R1, which is gonna close the set of contacts and send a signal to your tunnel controller. So this is a very simple little box, and as you can see, it's a very small box. Put it on the wall, bring your 24 volt AC to it, and your uh, output signal to your controller out. Here's another schematic which shows this is a more complex schematic. This is a machine control panel, which in here we have other components like brush system solenoid, wash pumps, blower look ahead, other features, that, uh, other pieces of equipment. We're using two sets of photo eyes here. This set here is one set of photo eyes for activation, and here's another set of photo eyes for activation. And again, you want to identify, it's clearly marked here, the emitter photo eye, brown wire goes to terminal 4, the blue wire goes to neutral. Now your receiver brown wire goes to terminal 4 and the blue wire goes to terminal 5. As it's stated here, number 4 is the hot side of this control panel. So the brown wires always go to high. When you energize the photo eyes, the emitter, when they're aligned, the emitter always has a red light on it. Now, if they're correctly aligned, the emitter would have the red light on. When you break the beam, the receiver light will come on. Troubleshooting, if the machine, say, stays on all the time, constant activation. Now, that is commonly seen when somebody bumps into a photo eye and misaligns them. So now, Obviously, he thinks there's something there, and it's going to keep the machine on. The other thing is lens. 
if the lens builds up, uh, any spotting, scaling, it can eventually block it off to the point where you're going to get that false reading. So what you want to do is clean these off. It's just like the lens on your camera. You know, it's a little bit more robust than that, but you know, you, you want to wipe them off, clean them off, keep them clean. You know, if you don't let it build up, you won't have that issue. The other thing for uh, constant activation would be that in this case the relay stuck closed. So the uh, the two terminals, you know, they melted together, they stuck together, so that's going to be a constant activation. You know, you'd have to replace the relay for that. The other thing would be, you know, long term, a faulty sensor. You know, the, the sensor internal components locked up and it's continually, continuously sending a signal. This is Alex Chavez with NS Corporation. Please visit us at www.nswatch.com for more helpful videos and all your vehicle cleaning needs.